So welcome everyone to another Cell seminar, uh, Sol seminar online. And today I'm glad to introduce Gabriela Massa in this uh, Friday. So Gabriela has a degree in biotechnology from the National University of Quilmes. Since 2004, she carries out her research in agrobiotechnology laboratory of Inta Valcarce. In 2010, she obtained her doctorate in basic and applied, applied sciences from the National University of Quilmes. And since uh, 2016, she's an assistant researcher at CONICET. Gabriela has been teaching at the Faculty of Agronomy of the National University of Mar del Plata since 2004. And she had a participation in the potato genome sequencing project. She's a pioneer in gene editing in potatoes in Argentina had two training stays, a short one in 2012 in the laboratory of Dr. Daniel Boitas at the University of Minnesota, and in 2018 with David Douches of the Michigan State University. She also participates in projects that study allelic variability in genes of agroindustrial interest in Andean potatoes, and her results are published in prestigious international journals she has an active participation in the training of human resources, directing and co-directing undergraduates and doctoral thesis. So today she's going to talk about advances and perspectives of potato breeding by gene editing. And with that, I leave you with Gabriela so we can start listening to her talk. Thank you, Rocio. I'm sharing my presentation. It's okay? Yes, perfect. Okay. Well, um, first I thank you, Rocio, uh, for the invitation and the rest of the uh, committee organizer. Uh, it's an honor for me to participate in this uh, seminar. Um, first, I like to uh, present uh, INTA. INTA is a... Um, institution, uh, a government institution, um, and is dependent of the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, and Fishery. It uh, was created in 1956 and uh, has presence in whole uh, country. Um, the, our laboratory is uh, here in Southeast uh, of Buenos Aires province, uh, specific, specifically uh, Valparaiso. Uh, this picture uh, shows the experimental station. Uh, we are in the agronomy department, and this is uh, our laboratory. Um, why do we study the potato? Because it's the third food crop in the world after wheat and rice, and the most important decot in the human food. Uh, the world production of potato crop is said 350 million tons, and Balca, in particular, Valcarce is the more important, uh, most important um, region produce, uh, producer uh, of potato. Um, the industry, uh, the industry, sorry, has uh, some requirements as excellent texture and flour in chips and potato fries. Um, the dam dam diameter uh, of the tubers um, is desired uh, is um, between 18 and 14 millimeters. The flesh uh, uh, is white ye on, on, or sheer yellow color. And um, for example, other important requirement of the industry is the, the fresh potato um, not, not uh, has the enzymatic browning. Um, there are two ways to obtain, uh, to obtain potato with these requirements uh, for potato conventional breeding or apply uh, biotechnology techniques. Uh, one uh, biotechnology technique um, is uh, gene editing. Uh, it is a biotechnology, biotechnological tool to perform changes 
uh, in the genomes uh, in a specific manner with heredability and without of target modification. The type of chains, uh, for example, we, we can obtain a deletion, insertion, chain of base, allelic replacement, or transgenic site specific. And in 2020, in 2020, uh, Donna uh, Charpentier won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the use of this technique. In particular, CRISPR-Cas9 is the most um, tools uh, used for to edit uh, genomes. Um, the CRISPR-Cas uh, is formed for one place. In, part, in this case, I show you the Cas9 and um, one RNA guide that uh, it has 20 uh, nucleotides specific duration that we uh, wish uh, it is. The nucleus um, um, uh, cuts the DNA. And this uh, break is repaired, can be repaired with two uh, ways. One way is the um, no homologo and shown pathway. And the other uh, way is by um, homology direct repair. That way is not very common in plants. When the, um, the uh, repair machina, machinery um, uh, repair this break, um, occur, uh, can, can, be, uh, can be occur uh, deletion, uh, insertion uh, in the genome. Uh, in this picture, I like to uh, show you the, the different breeding techniques. And um, we can see the, the time uh, necessary to obtain a new varieties. For example, for crossbreeding, mutation breeding, chemical mutation, or transgenesis breeding, um, take out uh, eight or two, 12 or uh, 10 years a year, years old. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, years. <laughs> but um, genome editing, um, um, with uh, genome editing, we can shorten the times to obtain new varieties. For example, four to six uh, years. But um, this technique uh, has a bottleneck. Uh, this bottleneck is the regeneration uh, of potato varieties from different plants. For example, um, we work uh, with protoplast, and um, we um, try to um, study the, the time of regeneration from this protoplast for each variety uh, in our in our group. Um, one variety of uh, uh, the great importance uh, in, in Argentina is Spunta because it's the variety um, producer for fresh consume. Um, we uh, obtain the, the regeneration from protoplast of this uh, variety um, um, in the same time as uh, other varieties uh, produce plant as the uh, In the doctoral thesis uh, of uh, Julian Zimmerman, uh, he has um, uh, as objective to study the generation from other varieties of importance, industrial or economical for the uh, our country. For example, Pampiana Inca or Atlantic. Uh, the cultivar Atlantic had a similar regeneration efficiency uh, than cultivar Spunta, and the cultivar Pampiana Inca had lower regeneration efficiency than cultivar Spunta. 
maybe we can modify some step of the protocol to obtain better efficiency for this uh, cultivar. Um, one, um, one objective uh, our group is uh, to obtain potatoes with a better quality, uh, nutritional and industrial quality. In the Gonzalez, uh, in the Matias Gonzalez thesis, uh, he studied the enzymatic grounding process. And in this process, the polyphenol oxidases um, catalyst, um, there, um, uh, there are enzymes loca located in plastic, and this enzyme catalyzes the conversion of phenolic substrate yes, uh, to quinone. Um, in this process, um, uh, uh, appear uh, brown pigments that are not desirable for the consumers and the industry. Um, during the harvest or um, post harvest, uh, the tubers um, suffer uh, damage and uh, appear um, these compost uh, in the tubers. Um, there are uh, some developments um, for to avoid uh, this process, for example, uh, Chietal. Um, we, uh, they perform silencing for different uh, PPO genes. And other uh, development is from Simplot. Uh, but this, um, this, process, this development is with um, a stale transformation. Uh, in the Matthias thesis, the, he studied the um, Oh, he used the information uh, from the consortium, genome consortium potato, of potato, and she and he saw the presence of different uh, genes. But uh, the eight nine one six gene, uh, it has the more the most expression in tubers. Um, this gene is the same gene uh, presented in the work uh, from T. Hansen and T. Uh, in the next uh, of the slide, I name this gene as PPO2. Um, the first step uh, in the project, in the thesis uh, of Matia, Matias was amplify the PPO2 gene uh, from the sirene, and then uh, he designed uh, a couple uh, of uh, RNA guys, and then um, he transfected uh, protoplasts uh, with their uh, ribonucleoprotein. Um, seven days after the transfection, he saw the division in the, in the cells. Uh, 56 days uh, appeared the, the Kali. And in the 19 uh, days post transfection, um, he saw the, the first shoot uh, in the place. Um, for each Kali, Kali uh, he cut uh, one shoot. She cut it uh, one shoot and uh, check the, um, the presence of the edition by HRFA uh, screening. This technique uh, allows uh, to see the, the, the length, the, the size of the amplified fragments. For example, um, in this line, this event, uh, at least uh, one allele with a deletion of the uh, 5PV and at least one allele uh, present a deletion uh, 
TV. And this deletion is present when both guys um, are efficient. Uh, in particular, this line, this event, uh, contains at least uh, one uh, well type allele. Uh, this result was um, confirmed by sequencing. Uh, in summary, 68% um, uh, of the event present uh, at least one edited allele and 24 um, of the event present full knockout. Yeah. Then um, we, we saw the, the phenotype in the slide two bars. Um, we cut the tubers and expose this, uh, this slide uh, to R. And we can see uh, the wild type with the slice and the uh, line with at least one uh, allele, uh, wild type allele. And we can see the um, presence of the uh, brown pigment. But in the rest of the event, with the, without a wild type allele, alleles, uh, we can see the, the clear color in the slide. Um, Matthias um, saw the enzymatic browning and the PPO activity, and uh, he, he saw that. Uh, um, some lines with a significant difference respect to the wild type and the, the line with at least uh, one, uh, allele, one, one allele, wild type allele, sorry. <laughs> and in particular, this line, 8,001, uh, present uh, a reduction of the 73% in the enzymatic browning and 69% in the uh, PPO activity. Um, for this uh, particular line, um, we saw, um, we performed the analysis uh, of the addition in others and uh, PPO chain and uh, we found that uh, this, this gene not present additions. That this is very good, very well, very good for, because uh, this technique is, uh, is uh, specific. Yes, it was specific for uh, one PPO gene. Uh, in our country, we have a um, particular regulation uh, for the GNOMO event, and we uh, perform the instance of prior consultation uh, for uh, this event and for uh, other project uh, I talk uh, later, or in the edition of Bacolar Invertise. And we explain uh, the process uh, to obtain this event and the biotechnology direction uh, respond that uh, this, this event is not considered um, OGM. Uh, is considered as a new variety uh, obtained to breeding, conventional breeding. Uh, for this reason, we start, uh, started with the field trials uh, for to perform the inscription as new white. Um, other process uh, with uh, great importance for the industry is the coal in use and sweetening. Um, this process is the accumulation of sucrose and reducing sugars in potato tubers when the tubers are stored uh, at uh, cold temperature, at low temperatures, as uh, for the 
uh, four, sorry, <laughs> four grades and two others. Um, in this pro process, are involved uh, one enzyme, the vacular invertase, uh, that it uh, enzyme cut the sucrose and form and the products uh, are glucose and fructose and in, are reducing sugars. Um, there are uh, some development uh, for, for this uh, for this improve, improvement. Uh, for example, in Nate, uh, has a potato uh, with the uh, uh, invertase shin silensen and calyx um, has a variety um, obtain, obtained by uh, knockout uh, by talent. Yes, talent is other um, form to edit the genomes. It's previous uh, to this broadcast. Um, this project I started when I went to uh, Michigan uh, in the lab of David Douches. And in the first step was amplify the fragment of invertase uh, sheen uh, for uh, cloning and sequencing because it's very important important uh, to know the specific sequence of, um, of the gene in uh, each variety, because um, this uh, allow um, the better design in the guys. Uh, we design three different guys in different region of the gene, one in exon one, and two in exon three, and uh, we we perform the delivery in two ways. Uh, one way was by agrobacterium, and recently uh, we uh, we perform the delivery uh, by transfection of protoplasm. And in Michigan. Uh, uh, I, I performed the protoplast say for the validation in vivo of the guy designing guys. Um, this protocol, um, the, the step of this protocol was uh, obtain the protoplast and transfect this protoplast with the vector that contain uh, the Cas9 and the guys. Um, then uh, we add the ODNA oligo, and then we extract the, the DNA from protoplast and perform uh, the PCR. The PCR uh, use uh, oligos uh, primers specific. One specific one, one uh, primer is specific uh, to ODNA oligo. Another primer is specific uh, to the sheen, in this case, invertase sheen. If the, there are a break in the genome, uh, we, obtain, uh, we, we can obtain a PCR product. Um, well, we can see the, the PCR product, and this indicates that the um, Guys is a specific um, 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 well <laughs> designed. Uh, recently, in our laboratory, um, to perform the transfection of protoplas uh, spunta with both um, vectors with different combination of the uh, guys um, and to add a uh, protoplast of uh, Atlantic, that is a uh, variety uh, with the importance for the industry. industry. Um, we use 40% uh, of polyethylene glycol 
for the transaction, and um, we obtain uh, 76 um, events from this uh, vector, 70 from this in Atlantic, and 114 um, events from Spunta with this combination of time. And in this picture, uh, you can see uh, the one event um, at, from Atlantic that not show um, uh, uh, wild type alleles. In this moment, um, we are multiplying multiply, multiply, uh, this line for to perform the phenotype studies. Um, other project um, in our laboratory um, carried forward by Dr. Cecilia de Simonetto is to improve the potato to increase the efficiency of water use um, in potato. <laughs> uh, the potato uh, uh, has a supplemental, supplemental irrigation, and this produces a chain of form, of form in the soil and accumulation of the salt, uh, but is not desirable. Um, for this reason, the, the objective of this project is um, to perform to we perform uh, the um, uh, knockout of one uh, transcription factor, uh, uh, in particular CBP80, 80, 80, uh, that is involved in the acetic acid pet boy. Um, in this moment, we have 120 and 110 events uh, with two different vectors, uh, respectively and uh, the HRFA analysis is coming. Um, other line, uh, carried forward Dr. Estorani, is to study the, um, uh, the modification uh, in the expression hands involved in the um, circadian clock. Um, this, um, this modification uh, allows the modulation of culture cycle. Um, uh, Leonardo started this project um, in tomate, but then uh, followed with uh, potato. Um, he sequencing uh, genes uh, in potato and tomato uh, with circadian expression pattern. And he designed the guys cloning by Golden Gate uh, in a vector. And in this moment, has um, uh, some event with some uh, combination of guys. Um, uh, and for others, vector, he has, uh, he has um, played with uh, um, Kali. Yes, um, in this chart where you can see the, the red, uh, red vector that uh, it, uh, it um, these vectors are common with potato and tomato because uh, the sequence are equal. Um, the other important um, um, project in our laboratory uh, that is uh, started now is to obtain potato as resistant to fungal uh, disease, specifically uh, Phytophthora infesta. This omicete uh, causes the lab uh, blight and causing uh, can causing the total loss of the potato crop, affecting leaves, stem, and tubers. This work is carried forward by um, Elina Rismendi, and the one objective, uh, her thesis, 
is uh, to perform the knockout of one shin uh, susceptibility shin. Um, in particular, the um, R6. This shin um, was uh, edited uh, in other varieties, the Sire and Kidewar, by the group of Q. Um, they uh, saw, show, uh, saw, sorry, uh, plant uh, with resistance and without penalties, specifically, specifically for DM, DMR61. Um, for this reason, our objective is to perform the knockouts of this gene in Spunta. But um, the delivery of the Edition machinery um, uh, is, uh, but we 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 like use ribonucleic protein uh, to deliver uh, the machinery uh, for edition because in this work um, you said uh, agrobacterium and the object, the final object is to obtain a edited plan with resistance and not uh, uh, OCM. Um, for other sides, uh, the Dr. Ray and Dr. Norero work with the other proteins, uh, aspartic proteases and subglycine proteas. Um, the, the, the enzymes are involved in the uh, stress, uh, biotic, anabiotic, and in the first part of the work, um, they obtain plants with the overexpression of the aspartic protease, and they obtain um, different events with different uh, expression level. Um, in this moment, we have the, the plants in the greenhouse to perform the uh, infection with, uh, with uh, Phytophthora infestant uh, and it's uh, in a uh, size in Catholic. And the next approach with these uh, proteins or other genes of the interest in our group is to um, use CRISPR Cas as um, uh, uh, to obtain, sorry, a transgenic uh, plant, but the transgens in uh, in a specific uh, site. Um, one project is to obtain um, a transgenic plant uh, and they incorporate the, the transgen in PPO um, region uh, because we, we, we saw that is uh, possible. And uh, for last, um, I, I can talk about the other part, the, our work um, that uh, work is principal uh, carried forward by Sofia Zucker. And um, the objective is the, to perform the characterization of the shamo plants of the Andean potatoes. Um, we obtain uh, an, um, <coughs> a density of the map uh, by dark sex uh, technique. And in this picture, we can uh, see um, the, the presence of the um, SNP uh, mapped, SNP mapped uh, in whole genome. Um, with this uh, genotype, uh, um, genotyping, with this genotyping, we can construct the population structure uh, for 196 indigenous potatoes uh, from northwestern uh, Argentina. Um, we used uh, 
a subset of these intersect uh, uh, that uh, the SNP obtained for by DARSEC, and uh, we found three principal groups. In the first group, uh, uh, comprised the most uh, of the Andean section. Other group uh, contained the uh, outgroup uh, potato, uh, spunta in this case. Um, <clears throat> TM uh, genotype uh, sequencing. And in the SARS uh, group, um, we can see the presence of the flesh, uh, color, colored flesh potatoes. Um, in this group, where is uh, of group potato uh, at the end, we can find some um, accession. Uh, um, stored as Andean potato. Uh, maybe um, these potatoes um, uh, are reintroductions uh, of the European bread, long day adapted uh, potatoes. Uh, yes, this result is very important because allow, um, um, allow uh, Chain the, the form to store the, the different uh, accession in the bank. Um, Sofia and previously uh, other students, Ivana Coleman, uh, performed the phenotypic characterization, in particular for the um, calls using sweetening in the, in the uh, 90. Uh, six uh, Andean potatoes, and um, uh, they found a great diversity uh, in the content, uh, the reducing sugar content, and the color chip. Um, previously and after a store, uh, the potatoes uh, low temperature. Um, Silvana, in the first uh, work, found uh, three uh, groups. In the first group, uh, we can find the section with the wood um, value uh, after um, uh, before the storage. In the second group, we can find uh, a section with um, uh, good value for uh, before the, the storage, but after the storage, the content uh, is higher. And the third group uh, are potatoes with the bad uh, values uh, after and before uh, of storage. And the same result we we saw uh, respect the color chip after fry uh, the, the potatoes. Uh, with the genotyping and phenotypic characterization, we can uh, perform association map mapping. Um, with the result uh, from the association mapping, we can uh, select candidate change for uh, future uh, working words in addition. Um, well, uh, finally, uh, this um, uh, our group, is, the leader of our group is uh, the Dr. Sergio Fengol and uh, the others participate, uh, other integrates of the group is uh, the, doctor, uh, the Dr. Paula Lacerna, she worked uh, with corn, and the technique uh, of the laboratory is Silvina De Vito. Uh, we uh, have collaboration with the Dr. Eddie Gauch from uh, Michigan State University, with Dr. Perhofander in Sweden, where, where Matthias uh, learned uh, the extraction and regeneration uh, of the protoplast. Uh, in Argentina, with the Dr. Cecilia Bedogni, um, she is the leader of the potato breeding program. Uh, with the Dr. Uh, Laura Charte, 
she collaborated with the project uh, to about the, uh, improve the efficiency in the use of the water. And uh, with Dr. Marcelo Janowski uh, from uh, the Loire Institute in Argentina, and he uh, is co-director uh, of Leonardo Storani and collaborate with the uh, work in the modulation of the cycle of the potato. Um, thank, and I, I'm here for to respond uh, as well the questions, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Gabriela. So thank you for the great talk and all the work. It's a lot of work all together. <laughs> so thank you for that. And here we have a comment of Alicia that she had to go, but congratulations, she says. And then uh, uh, we have a question from Xianxin John Chen. Uh, he said, Hi, Gabriela. Have you tried to ribonucleoprotein for editing with protoplast? Any data show the editing efficiency between Chris Cas SG RNA in a vector plasmids? Yes. Uh, hello, Shansin. Shansin? Oh, Sean. <laughs> um, yes. Um, we, we have a, a, a one work. Uh, with the comparison uh, uh, with uh, different uh, transfection uh, with vector and uh, ribonucleoproteins. Um, the efficient is depending uh, principal, principal, principally uh, of the design of the guys. Um, and uh, because in, in some case, when we use a vector, we, uh, we, have, uh, we had a more efficiency than when we use a ribonucleoprotein. Uh, but the advantage for us uh, in the use of the ribonucleoprotein is uh, the, because the plants uh, um, are not considered a transgenic plants. Yes, I don't know if it's the... Yes, Dad, thank you for the question, yeah. That's the uh, exactly one asked, yeah. With the plasmid, uh, with Cas9, and uh, with uh, ribonuclear proteins directly for the editing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you do see the, you do see the efficiency difference, but the assumes is because the guide on the with RNP, that the guidelines issues can cause the difference of the trend, uh, the editing efficiency. Because of the guide on the... Yes. The, the difference because the, the difference, guide Yes, yeah. the difference uh, was uh, for the, um, for the efficient uh, in the design, the difference uh, was, um, for the, um, the design of the guys, yes? Because in, in, in we, we saw um, different um, guys and, and we incorporate uh, this guy in different ways and we have a better efficiency with a ribonucleoprotein. Mm, yeah, that's good. Quick. Yeah, thank you for, uh, for the answer. And also, uh, continue the answer you, you give to me. And do you see the difference because of the guard RNA, the difference of the guard RNA for different genes? You do a lot, you showed a lot of data. If in the same, same vector, do you the protoplast? Do you see because of different guard RNA gave you the different, uh, the, the editing uh, efficiency difference? Do you see that? You just to use a uh, a, a traditional plasmid, a vector. Yes. Do you see the efficiency different as well? Yes, for we we saw different efficiency uh, with different guys in the same gene. Is is la pregunta Rocío también? I think uh, I cannot listen very well. The audio is yes. <laughs> complicated, but I think that's a question. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's maybe we do. Um, do you? 
uh, like and write. Uh, yeah, kind of write down the question. That would be great. So we can be yeah. sure that we are listening correctly. Yeah, I listen yeah. noise. <laughs> Okay, in the meantime, we have another question uh, yes. from David Duches. Uh, he uh, asks, uh, do you get CAS9 integration with Protoplast editing? Hello, David. Uh, no, when we use, uh, you said, ribonucleoprotein, um, uh, we don't uh, incorporate DNA, uh, but we saw integration, integration um, a sound DNA fragment when we use it vector. Okay, thank you. And then there is a question from Maria Victoria Gomez Roldan. She said, hola, gracias por tu presentación. How long it take from protoplast transformation to plant generation? Yes, uh, for the CIRE and Estunta, uh, 19 uh, days. And for, Pompia for Pampiana, um, we, we saw um, 120 days. And Atlantic um, has the, the same time as Russian energy. Right. Thank you. And then she said, okay, thanks. Uh, we have the question now from John Chen. Yes. I, Any I, data show the different editing effic efficiency by using plasmid vector due to different sgRNA? Yeah, by using plasmid vector. Um, yes, the, the editing efficient is um, showing it with the, the design of the guy. Independent, independently, uh, are used a vector or ribonucleoprotein. Uh, Giovanni? Yes. yes, thank you, um, Gabriela. And then, yes, Giovanni Giuliano says, thanks, Gabriela, nice talk. Regeneration from protoplast in potato generates a lot of somaclonal variation. How do you resequence the clones you are registering as varieties? Um, we uh, don't, don't solve the uh, penalties in the phenotype of the plant uh, from protoplast. Um, and it's not a requirement of the, uh, of the institution uh, for to register the new variety, resequence uh, the clones. Um, the, the requirement is to perform um, three uh, trials in the field and register the, the phenotype, uh, shield, uh, presence of the um, uh, different uh, infection, natural infection, uh, but not uh, is uh, the requirement resequence the plant. But uh, I don't show, I don't saw um, difference in the phenotype. Okay, he says thanks. I don't know if it, there is any other question. Gabriela. In that case, we don't have any other questions. Um, we are finishing this seminar online. So thank you, Gabriela, again for, for the great talk. And in two weeks, we are, um, we are joining again this seminar on Friday to listen to Aureliano Bombarelli. And he's going to talk about insights, insights of the genome evolution in the Nicosiana genus. So with that, we are finishing. And thank you very much for your talk and for all the audience. Thank you. Bye-bye.